Hello viewers, about a week ago I posted on YouTube uh, a video about uh, prepper communities and uh, all very good uh, comments and I thank the people for that. Um, there was one that I was a bit puzzled with, uh, he asked me did I want something to happen, hell no, no, no sane person would. So my answer to that is, is Okay, most of us own a vehicle or a car or something like that, and a lot of us carry a spare tyre in it. Now, working on that comment, um, yeah, I carry a spare tyre in my car, just in case I get a flat tyre. Doesn't mean I bloody want one. You know, think about, and I've often been accused of this and this sort of thing over the years, uh, during the time I've been prepping, you're prepping because you want something to happen. No, definitely not. I mean, the flood disasters we had here eight years ago, yeah, we were prepared for it. I didn't want it, didn't ask for it. People lost their lives, a lot of destruction. So, you know, these people out there that accuse preppers of wanting things to happen, really think about, you know, the question you're asking. The same people don't. They don't ask for it to happen. All right, moving on to the topic of today. Food preps. Okay. Most preppers um, usually start off with their families, extended families, close friends. And a lot of, lot of preppers, uh, they buy food stuff from the supermarkets and that sort of thing. And a lot of them do their own preserving. We've got a lot of citrus trees around here, and you know, we do our own preserving and making jams and stuff out of it and all that sort of thing. However, and I'm just putting this out there because I, I know um, some people within our little group here um, do have what they call food intolerances, um, stepping up to. Uh, a very very serious allergic reaction. Okay, most of the food, uh, processed foods we buy these days, if you're stocking up on that sort of thing, contain a lot of crap in them. Okay, myself, um, yeah, I'm intolerant to MSG. However, MSG you can find in natural foods, you know, stuff you grow in the garden and that sort of thing, not a problem. Okay. A lot of people are lactose intolerant, um, allergic to um, seafood products, uh, things like that. Um, stuff you find and being gluten intolerant, you know, that sort of thing. And the symptoms can range from very mild symptoms, stomach cramps, bloating, uh, particularly with lactose and um, uh, the other stuff you find in flour um, to uh, you know doubling up in pain with cramps and you know off to the toilet because they've got diarrhea and things like that so essentially when you're actually buying processed foods um, is it wise to consider um, people that uh, are in your prepper group, whether it be immediate family, extended family, or friends, close friends, to consider that they may have some sort of reaction, be it mild or catastrophic, uh, on certain foods and certainly the ingredients they're putting in some of these uh, uh, canned foods and you know, packet foods and you know that sort of thing. Okay, I'll give you an example. To put so much junk in food these days, it's, it, it really is incredible. And after a while, um, this one here is shredded ham. Now, we use these little cans after going out hiking and things like that, you know, take a bit of food with us. Good handy size. Okay, so I'll get to the guts of the ingredients. Um, yeah, there's meat in there and that sort of thing. Okay, potato starch, spices, chili. Um, some pe people may be allergic or have a reaction to certain spices or herbs. 
uh, stabiliser, thickener. I mean, back in the old days, you know, if I'm, we made a stew or something, we used to use plain flour as a thickener. So, thickener 407. What the hell is that stuff made out of? Lemongrass, antioxidants, preservatives. Okay. These are the things that we're finding more and more now, these, these type of food products. And quite often people don't know that they have some sort of uh, reaction or, or uh, be it mild or more severe, uh, full-blown um, allergic reaction to it until they've actually tried it. Uh, I've got another one here. Now this, this one is very important. Uh, canned chicken. Okay. Rip top lid. Good handy size for hiking, backpacking, that sort of stuff. Um, good to have in your stores, you know, for a single serving, cuts down on waste, um, that sort of thing. All right, we'll get to the um, the guts of what's in this thing. Okay, okay, you've got meat, you know, mayonnaise and so on. Water, soybean, soybean oil, sugar. Thickeners again, they've got a number beside them. Vinegar, vinegar, salt, skim milk powder. Yeah, skim milk powder. Uh, colour, colour, colouring, okay? Just keep that in mind for a few seconds. Egg yolk powder. How many people are allergic to eggs or have a intolerance to eating eggs? Okay. Traces of wheat, gluten intolerance maybe, peanuts, yeah, if you know anyone who is allergic to peanuts, um, you know, we're seeing a lot in young kids these days, it's, it's a very serious situation. Tree nuts, okay, it's another type of nut. Uh, whether people who are allergic to it, peanuts uh, have the same problem with other types of tree nuts, I don't know, but peanuts is one of the big ones. Fish, crustacea, how many people are allergic to seafood? Um, I know of a couple people, you know, they, even smelling this stuff, um, they go into a full blown, um, uh, almost an anaphylactic shock. Um, let alone putting a stuff in your mouth. Okay, light, light mayonnaise contains 40% uh, less than uh, okay, mayonnaise. Well, mayonnaise typically, um, well, in the old days, they used to use egg in it, no, that sort of thing. So that's, that's just a few things. Uh, and what I'm saying is, 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 and I'll get on to medical stuff in a minute, is that if in the prepper, family prepper situation, no doubt you're well aware of, of any allergies or intolerances to certain foods or, or um, ingredients that are put in, processed foods, um, even things like uh, yeah, and mushrooms. Uh, one of my sons, is, he, he has a very bad reaction to, to mushrooms, uh, whether they're grown organically or not. Uh, he, he just throws up and that's it. So, in a family situation, prep a family situation, you're no doubt very aware of, of any allergies or intolerances that your family members may have, uh, including extended family, like you know, uh, sons and daughters with kids and all that sort of thing. What about your friends, your close friends? Have you sat down and talked to them about it? Do they have family members? I'm just putting it out there. Have you done that? Because in a, in a disaster situation, the last thing you need, the last thing you want, particularly when you can't get to medical help in a full-blown allergic reaction, is that someone's going to go down, they're going to go down hard. And they may not come out of it. You know, it depends, depends how their body reacts to it. It's something to think about, and okay, yeah, there, there are privacy issues with reference, you know, health and that sort of thing. But isn't it better to pre 
prevent something from happening if it's avoidable, in the case of intolerances, food allergies, that sort of thing. Something to think about. Um, to sit down and talk to the people in your group, whether they're close friends or extended family and something like that, and talk about you know, the possibility or known uh, intolerances or full-blown allergies to certain food products or whatever is added in there uh, with additives and things like that. Colouring is another one, okay? Um, we make our own fruit juice here and believe me when we make our own fruit juice it's a totally different colour to what you buy at the supermarket whether it's liquid form or powdered form. Why? Because they put colouring in it and they put preservatives in it and that sort of thing. So and we've heard about you know, colouring some, some colours uh, uh, in food products, um, particularly with kids, it sends them absolutely loopy. You know, and they're pinging off the walls for a week or they get very sick. Okay, another area possibly to look at too is your medical supplies. Now, I've been to hospital for a few times, you know, for operations and that sort of thing, and, and no doubt a lot of you out, out there have been, or you've been to the ER where you've had to have a wound dressing or something like that. And usually, well, here in Australia anyway, well, you know, fill out this question for what are you allergic to and all this sort of stuff. And right up there, probably in the top five, are you allergic to iodine? Iodine is a good antiseptic, but some people are allergic to it. Um, are they in, is that in your first aid supplies? Are there people within your prepper group? Um, as I said, family, extended family, friends, are they allergic to iodine? You can't use that stuff on them. Okay. Other things like um, surgical tape. They used to, um, you know, when you've got all these plastic pipes and drips and cannulas hanging off you, use it to hold it in place. Uh, some people have a... a an allergic reaction to it, they get a skin rash. Let me see, uh, there was something else, yes, latex, yes, uh, if you've got uh, medical gloves, latex gloves, some people are allergic to latex. Um, the symptoms can vary from person to person, from very mild to very severe. Another medical uh, problem that may crop up um, uh, antibiotics. Um, some people uh, are chronically allergic to certain types of antibiotics, basic penicillin or derivatives of that or whatever penicillin, uh, whatever antibiotic they want to use at the time. And you'll find that most of the time, you know, if you, if you go to a doctor and, and they say, well, well, we'll give you a, a dose of any antibiotics, a course of antibiotics, they'll ask you if you're allergic to it. Uh, or you have, if you have any problems with taking it, so that, that's another area too, and uh, it's a very long list of things that you may need to consider. So it's something something to think about. Uh, actually, I've I've never heard it discussed on. I'm not on forums anymore. Uh, I've given up on those. Uh, I've been on forums for many many years as a member, senior member, staff member or moderator. Uh, you know, there's just too much crap on there and any newbies that come on there and they want to you know, learn about stuff and that, or they come up with different ideas, they usually get trashed by the older members, you know, it, you know to test your own thing. But it's something, food allergies um, or ingredient allergies is, is something that um, I've never seen discussed on forums. Uh, it might be on social media. Uh, what YouTube or Facebook or whatever else. I'm not a Facebook fan, um, but I really haven't come across it yet. It might be out there, I just haven't found it. So, a few things to think about. Um, and as I said, yeah, medical privacy is an issue, but you don't want to find yourself in a situation where someone has a very bad reaction, allergic reaction, uh, to something they've eaten or something they've been drinking um, and you you can't get to advanced medical facilities 
issue. Um, some of them can be treated with, with an EpiPen, some can't. An EpiPen is only a short gap stop. You still got to get them to uh, advanced medical help and grid down situation. You know, I mean, you've had bad snowstorms in the US and Europe, uh, things like that where the roads are blocked. Um, you know, You've got to think about those sort of things. I hope you people do. We have. Um, it's just an idea I'm putting out there. Uh, similarly, with insect bites, people um, have a. Uh, some people have a uh, a reaction to uh, insect bites, mosquitoes, and things like that. You know, for some of us, it's only a little red spot. For some of it, you know, you know they they you know, it breaks out into a rash or something like that. Uh, ticks. Okay, here in Australia we've got uh, what we call bush ticks, uh, paralysis ticks. And uh, well, we've already had one emergency situation. There was a full blown reaction to a tick from one of our family members. Uh, it's on my YouTube, it's called Medical Emergency, um, where she went into an anaphylactic shock and she had to be uh, medivaced out to a hospital. So there are things like that too, uh, and, and okay, some of you may not know what allergies you have. I'm not saying all people have allergies uh, to certain things. Some people don't. But the thing is, you, you've got to remember that some people have probably never been exposed to stuff, whatever it is, uh, that they they may have a, a an allergic reaction to or a you know, mild reaction to or whatever. Um, it's you know, it's a roll of the dice, but it's something to think about. And uh, when you're doing your, your your stores and that sort of thing, you know, buying food in and that sort of thing, yeah, it's going to be hard because if you've got members in there that are intolerant or allergic to certain products, uh, yeah, it's going to be hard. Uh, even preparing meals and things like that. So, but the answer prevention is worse is is better than a pound of a crap hitting your, the fan under your roof because someone's got to be carted off to hospital. Probably when you can't get to one. Really don't want that. Thanks for watching, folks. See you later.